To better understand this first topic here as it comes to us in chapter 14, it might be helpful to, to step back a, a few paces from this chapter and look at the whole book for just a second. 1 Corinthians is actually not the first letter that Paul sent to the Corinthian saints. It's the second letter. In chapter 5, he, he mentions to them that he had sent them a letter, then they had sent a response, and now this letter, which we call 1 Corinthians, is actually, should be 2 Corinthians, um, he's responding to some very specific feedback that he got from them in that letter, and we don't have either his first letter okay. or the response back from them. Okay. So we don't have those. We can guess some of the things based on what's in here. But what we know is that he spent 18 months there among these saints, and now he's away and he's writing these letters to kind of regulate the, the way they're running the church there in Corinth, which is a crossroads of the ancient world. It's right there in this major trade route between two seas, and there are people coming in from all over the world into Corinth. And there are people being introduced to the gospel of Jesus Christ mm -hmm. from a variety of backgrounds. So you have in that same congregation, as you do throughout the other epistles, you have converts into the Christian church from Judaism, and you have converts that were Gentiles from paganism. And there's going to be some difficult uh, situations that they have to navigate. And this is one of them here in chapter 14, because you're going to have some people overemphasizing certain gifts of the spirit, underemphasizing or misunderstanding other aspects of the gifts of the spirit. And so this is a very uh, uh, powerful corrective chapter, and here he's really going to focus in on two gifts of the Spirit, speaking in tongues and the gift of prophecy, and really help us to understand how those two fit inside of their cultural context in the church at that time. <laughs>